Good morning, it's Tony. I'm here at Smart Motors Toyota. I get asked the question all the time, what is our merchandising process? How do we, Smart Toyota, how do we manage to get all of our vehicles videoed and photoed in such a timely fashion? So this morning, I'm just gonna walk you quickly through our process, show you how we get it done. You might pick up some tips, some tricks, some ideas on ways that you can be more efficient in your vehicle merchandising. Stay tuned. Here we go. So here at Smart Toyota, we are Wisconsin's number one volume new Toyota dealer. And we also sell several hundred used cars every single month. So hundreds of new, hundreds of used, and we get them all merchandised very quickly and out on the lot. So let me walk you through that process. For new cars, for example, over the weekend, a number of cars came in off the trucks, the carriers, the transporters brought those vehicles into our dealership. And when they do that, they begin to line them up or park them right here alongside this big gray building. And this is our new car get ready department. So every new car comes in goes through that building, gets inspected by our technicians, gets set up and ready for the lot. Basically, we use the same process for used cars. It's just done in a little different facility because it's more detailed, more entailed. Now, once all of the vehicles are fully ready for the lot, they've been washed and cleaned and inspected, then they end up over here in this area. So these are brand new cars. And as soon as the technicians are done, they'll park them right here. And we also do the same thing with our used cars. So the detailers bring the cars up from the used car department. You can see this morning, we've probably got about 30 or so cars that are ready to go, ready to be merchandised. They've not been photoed yet. They've not been videoed. But this morning, our, our merchandiser will show up and begin working and he'll work all day long on these cars. So you can see there's a couple of used cars right there. Probably came up on Saturday. They're ready to go. And then more new cars. So he's probably got about 20 to 30 cars to do today. One of the things you'll notice about the used cars is none of them have window stickers on them yet. So what we like to do is we like to merchandise the cars before they ever get on the lot so that we get them in their best light without all the stickers on there. So these are ready to go and our merchandiser will show up this morning and he'll have all those keys for all these vehicles so it's really super convenient for him to get out and get those done. So he'll grab the keys say for that vehicle right there and he simply pulls it right into this building right here. So he's got maybe a 50 foot walk to get the vehicles. It's not scrambling around the lot, not looking for vehicles all over the place. In fact, he doesn't even need a missing photo report because vehicles do not go on the lot until he's done his job. This is our studio. Every vehicle, with the exception of really big vehicles, get pulled into the studio. And this is a booth provided by 360 booth. The lighting is perfect, the conditions are perfect. Doesn't matter if outside it's snowing, raining, lightning, makes no difference. Our merchandiser can do his job regardless. Once he gets the vehicles in, he'll stage the vehicles, meaning he will make sure that the wheels are straight, and then he'll begin to walk around the vehicle, collecting all of his videos and all of his photos. And you can see from this particular video, he's able to capture the vehicle in its best light simply by walking around the car. Just gonna go ahead and zoom around it real quick. So he does his videos first using the Autos on Video app. Once he's done doing his videos, then he'll take the photos. Typically taking 30, 25 to 30 photos depending on the vehicle. Then when he's done doing the vehicle, he comes over to his workstation here and he's got these little QR code stickers. And what he's going to do is he's going to take these sticker because this is a new car. He's going to use the blue sticker and he'll come back over and place the sticker on the windshield.
like he's already done with this car. And then he pulls the car out and parks it into regular inventory. And then later, the lot attendants will come and position them out on the lot. So his workflow is just to simply grab the cars, drive them in the studio, take his photos and videos, and then park the cars back out on the lot for both new and used. Now his workstation, he's got a number of things over here that help him do his job. Number one, he's got this keyboard. So when the detailers or the uh, technicians are ready for the car to be merchandised, they park it outside where I showed you, and then they put the keys on the board here. And now he knows exactly what his workload looks like for today. So he'll take care of all of these cars, all of these cars, all of these ones down here are already done. You can see they have a P on them, which means photoed. And that means that the lot attendants can come and take these keys and reposition the car on the lot. He's got his iPhone with his lighting and his wide angle lens, all plugged in and charged up, ready to go. Never takes that home. That stays right here, so it's always ready to be used by anybody who's doing the job. He's got his workstation with his computer, so he can add any uh, comments to the vehicle that he thinks he needs to add or any additional infographics. And of course he has his jump pack, screwdriver tools, his leaf blower which allows him to clean out the booth. So everything is self-contained right here in the department. There's his tools for cleaning the booth, his garbage. So this is his work facility and so when he gets here this morning he's going to be able to jump right in and get things started without wandering around the lot looking for keys. You'll also notice up here on his board we have two different merchandising processes. So there's our new vehicle merchandising process and our used vehicle merchandising process with checklists so he knows exactly what he should be doing and in what order. He's not making it up as he goes along. He's just getting it done quickly. And this is what allows him and us to get all of our vehicles merchandised before they ever hit the lot. And that puts the cars on the internet in their best light. Now once a car is out on the lot, which all of these over here are, they're ready for sale. The used car department will put their window stickers on, their price stickers, and price tags, and the used car lot attendant will go ahead and position them on the lot where he believes they're best suited. So you can see every one of these now has that QR code in the window and it makes it easy for the used car manager and salespeople to inspect what they expect with regards to merchandising and when a salesperson's out on the lot with a customer they can quickly walk up to the car take out their iPhone and snap that QR code and the result is opening a web page directly to the vehicle use vehicle search results on our website so you can see for us we've got a process that is consistent anybody can step in and take over in the event that our merchandiser can't make it in for the day or we have turnover everything's up and running we don't have to reinvent because we lose a person so what we decided was we were going to make our process about us or we versus me an individual so it's really easy to plug and play our next merchandiser without having to reinvent every time we have turnover or we have somebody on vacation we can jump right in and get it done so i hope that you found this video helpful hope there's some tips some tricks some ways that you can get your vehicles merchandised efficiently and rapidly in a quality way without taking a lot of time and energy this is Tony talking car biz thanks for watching